So today we'll be learning about examination of vitals. So vitals, as you know, has four components. This is your general examination case sheet will have a column for vitals and it has four components. Component number one is pulse, the second one BP, third is respiratory rate and fourth is temperature. These four components are called as vitals for a reason and the reason being if it is abnormal, I want you to please report it to your seniors whatever it is even in the middle of the exam if you find the temperature or pulse or BP being abnormal please at least before you proceed further make sure someone takes a notice of them because patients obviously come first okay what is pulse so the basic concept is your ventricle is beating and the beating of the ventricle is going to be transmitted peripherally not the blood column but the pressure by which it is transmitted okay so ejection of blood from the left ventricle into the systemic circulation is going to create a waveform which is a pressure wave that is being felt as a pulse okay so this pulse is usually palpated peripherally against a bony prominence this is a general concept of a pulse what are the components of pulse so we have eight components of pulse number one is rate rhythm character volume radio radial delay radio femoral delay condition of the vessel walls and all the peripheral pulses to be felt these are the eight components of pulse okay so first thing being rate oh. so when you tell the rate the normal rate is between 60 to 100 anything less than 60 is bradycardia anything more than 100 is tachycardia so they will definitely ask what is the normal rate of the pulse okay how will you check for the pulse the pulse is checked using a three finger technique okay so these are the three fingers the ring finger the middle finger and the index finger index finger being the proximal finger and the ring finger being the distal most finger okay this is how you will test the pulse okay so this index finger obliterates the artery middle finger is for palpation and the distal finger is to stop the peripheral cutoff runoff of blood okay how do you calculate the pulse Pulse is calculated over a period of some textbooks say for 2 minutes and then divided by 2 but then it is enough if you calculate for one whole minute okay. And what is bradycardia as I have already told bradycardia is pulse rate, pulse rate less than 60 per minute. So what are the conditions that is going to cause bradycardia? So first let us take physiological conditions and pathological conditions okay. So physiological conditions are first one. When do you get bradycardia? During sleep and athletes. Okay, pathologically, it is hypothermia. Just remember, you there are so many causes of tachycardia and uh, bradycardia pathologically. But let us go to the important ones, the ones that we prefer you telling in the exams. So, hypothyroidism, obstructive jaundice, okay hypothermia SSS SSS is sick sinus syndrome drugs what are the drugs that you that can cause bradycardia number one beta blockers number two verapamil number three digoxin okay these are the pathological causes of bradycardia tachycardia tachycardia is pulse rate more than 100 what are the physiological causes of tachycardia exercise emotion or you know these are the and uh, even thyrotoxicosis all these uh, high output states will cause physiological tachycardia what are the pathological causes of tachycardia tachyarrhythmias heart failure cardiogenic shock and again drugs what are the drugs salbutamol atropin nifedipin all these drugs can cause tachycardia okay so there's one more concept called as the faggot sign so in fa what is faggot sign faggot sign means so normally what happens is if there is a increase of temperature for every one degrees fahrenheit rise of temperature the heart rate is supposed to increase by 10 this is the faggots so in if it does not increase it is called as relative bradycardia which is called as the faggot sign it is seen in some infections like most common is enteric fever 
dengue, brucellosis, leptospirosis. Okay, rhythm. How will you calculate? So, rhythm is obviously rate and rhythm is seen in the radial artery. Remember, R, 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 rate and rhythm in the radial artery. So, there is a regular rhythm, there is an irregular rhythm. So, rhythm regular is normal, irregular, irregular is regularly irregular or irregularly irregular. Okay, so regularly irregular is ventricular trigemini, ventricular bigemini and atrial tachy with fixed AV blocks. Okay, so what is ventricular bigemini? So I will just try to show the ventricular bigemini. This is ventricular bigemini. So this is irregular but it comes in a regularly irregular pattern. Okay, this is regularly irregular heartbeats and what is irregularly irregular that is ventricular so it is most common irregularly irregular this is atrial fibrillation and ventricular premature complex and atrial premature complexes again your paroxysmal atrial tachycardias with variable av blocks all this is irregularly irregular what is an apex pulse deficit and how to measure it so when you feel that it is an irregular beat and you consider it as an when you think it is af you have to differentiate it whether it is a ventricular premature complex or an atrial fibrillation. Okay, so that is when you apex pulse deficit comes into play. What is apex pulse deficit? You need two people to do this. At the same time, one of them, one of you, will have the stethoscope and uh, keep it at the apex of the heart and measure the heartbeat, count the number of heartbeats, and one of you will have to count the pulse rate at the same time. So, if the difference between the heart rate and the pulse rate is less than 10 then it is most likely a ventricular premature complex if it is more than 10 it is most likely an atrial fibrillation this is called as an apex pulse deficit i hope you understood one should count the heart rate in from the by keeping it at the apex and one should count the pulse rate by keeping uh, by counting the pulse okay and if the difference is more than 10 it is atrial fibrillation less than 10 it is ventricular premature complex in fact it is one of the differentiating feature between the two